governor signed a bill into law mandating Holocaust education in public schools. It happened at the Oregon Jewish Museum and Center for Holocaust Education. That museum tells the stories of Holocaust survivors and the Jewish migration to Oregon. Ken Body goes deeper into that history in this week's Where We Live. We have evidence that the first Jews to settle in Oregon came in 1848. These were Jews who came from Germany and Central Europe, so they were escaping um, difficult conditions there. Later waves of Jews came from Russia, Turkey, and Isle of Rhodes in Greece. The so-called Sephardic Jews became the center of Portland's Jewish community in the 1920s. So out of that group bubbled up a number of names that are very familiar with us, to us today. Like the Menashes, Saul Menashe became successful in insurance, his heirs in financial services and real estate. Sam Schnitzer from Russia made his fortune in the scrap and steel business. Grandson Jordan Schnitzer and his mother Arlene, prominent in real estate and philanthropy. Aaron Meyer joined Emil Frank to establish the Meyer and Frank department stores in the mid-1800s. Meyer's son Julius became Oregon's 20th governor in 1931. The late Vera Katz was among several Jewish Portland mayors. Another mayor, Neil Goldschmidt, became governor and U.S. Transportation Secretary. His legacy tarnished by revelations that he sexually abused a minor when he was mayor. Portland's Mel Blanc became the voice of famous cartoon characters from Bugs Bunny to Daffy Duck and the Road Runner. That little girl is my wife. That's her, that's you? That's yes. her. Ava and Leslie Eigner are among the handful of Holocaust survivors who came to Oregon in the 1950s. Leslie was at Auschwitz, managing to hide this knife and fork from his captors. He met Ava in Hungary in 1956, where they were liberated by Allied forces. And we escaped together when we left Hungary. 63 years now. They say Oregon was the first place they could practice their religion without risk of persecution or death. And it means a lot to me to have this freedom. An estimated 35,000 Jews live in the Portland metro area. Ken Body, Coin 6 News.